All right, another quick video today. And uh, yeah, dealing with payments is the single worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. Maybe not the worst thing. Where was that time? No, never mind. Um, I just got this email from Stripe and I would love to share with you. Hi there, we've had some trouble, blah, blah, blah. Overall, over the last few days, you've been returning 503 on our payment request form or webhook this basically means that my endpoint that's supposed to take a payment successful payment so okay this customer paid ten dollars let's give them ten dollars in credits hasn't been working and so i've been charging my customers and not bro i've keep having problems and i didn't understand why it was working fine for me but mine was already set up i guess and this was just getting absolutely fucked so yeah, this is the webhook dashboard in Stripe. And as we can see, this shit is just failing all over the place. I mean, for the last few days, like literally everything has failed. And it's so fucked up. So when I go to my edge functions, if I go to this endpoint, then what we see basically is I, I was testing it. It says, could not boot, something, something, just it's fucked. I, what the fuck is this down here? So, basically, fuck this. I'm going to use Svelte, or I already am. I just fixed this because I was like, holy shit. And now i got to call those customers and be like, listen, we fucked up. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. Yeah, this is bad. Like, um, and here's the crazy thing is if I avoid doxing myself, I'm just going to show you this, uh, this endpoint and don't worry. These are, this is test API info. This is the real stuff. You want to see this, but if we go down to this function, basically what you have to do, and this took me so long to set up is you have to create a Stripe client. Okay. That's not rocket science, but then you have to basically, okay. So we get the event, um, Wait, let me find it. Let me find it. Stand by. Stand by. So, basically, we have to, like, match. They're going to send a signing signature. First of all, we have two different keys. We have an endpoint secret for this endpoint, and then we have a Stripe API key, which is also separate. And then in their body, they also send a Stripe signature, which I'm supposed to verify to make sure that it's a real request. And so, yeah, so here... What you do is you get an event and then you break that event into an actual parsable event by passing in the body, the signature, and then the endpoint secret. And this is why I'm okay with sharing my dashboard because this shit is fucking locked down. I mean, fair enough, it is payments, but like that means developing with this shit is so hard, dude. Like, and you get these errors where shit just doesn't work sometimes and you get fucked in the ass. And, uh, yeah, I basically wanted to make this public service announcement to talk about that. So I've been scrambling. I put everything back together. I got it all fixed, but I just want to share this without, hopefully without doxing my customers. But basically this one guy, 7054, he got charged. What is that? Seven times in basically like a few days. This one right here, this is like four times within the span of an hour. And I wondered why they weren't using it anymore. I was like, did they uninstall? They didn't like it? No, they were just getting fucking scammed. And I wasn't even scamming them on purpose, dude. I'm getting fucked here. So, yeah. Um, also, let's, uh, let's, let's make a long story fucking helpful for you. And basically, what we would do is we would say, try this catch... And then, instead of returning a response, or before we return a response, we would basically use pushover. Pushover is a really good um, tool that I like for sending myself notifications. So I have it set up so that whenever I get a Stripe payment, I send myself a little notification, and it goes cha-ching. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, I should send myself basically a notification and be like, yo, this shit's fucking up, dude. You gotta, you gotta get on this shit ASAP. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't doing that. Um, so I should probably implement that because the, the, the thing about errors in your app is like, let's go back to my, you didn't see that. 
Um, let's go back to my trigger. And this is the activity for all my tasks. And we can see I had all these errors going on. And you know what's fucked up is I wasn't really working on this app. So I'm like, fuck it, dude. Like, I know everything still works. I'm just going to leave these errors. But the insidious thing about errors is you just see red, right? You just see a red error. Something went wrong. We don't know what until we look into it. And it just ends up being a problem. You know, at a certain point, like something critical is going to be broken and you won't know because you're not paying attention to the error. So my new philosophy is I'm just going to eliminate all the errors. I mean, an error that's not mission critical isn't really a problem. So it's not going to be that hard to fix. You know, you either go around it or just fix it and it's not going to be the end of the world. So yeah, I think new philosophy is fix all the errors that you can. Um, and yeah, stay on top of your shit, especially regarding payments. Otherwise you're going to get fucked like me. So I got to make some very, uh, some, some phone calls. Just be like, yo, my bad. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't charge back, but yeah, dude, just been getting fucked. So, and what the fuck is up with Superbase? I don't even, I don't even think I launched, I don't even think I updated this function. I mean, edge functions are cool, but I, I, I don't really like developing them because it's Dino. I'm not really familiar with Dino. You gotta install all this random shit just to develop on it. It's way easier to use API routes in your app. You know, if your app's only backend, if there's no front end, then maybe. But I would just spin up an express server on Vercel because it's just gonna be way smoother. Like, yeah, I don't know. Something's something's not good here. Boot failed. And I can't believe, dude. Also, why did they? Why did they? Tell me, 52 requests went fi went 503 after, like, three days. Like, they should have... I feel like I want a notification, like, that day. I want to be like, oh, shit. Yo, let me fix that. But, yeah, dude. Okay. Thanks for watching.